Hey guys, it's Soj here, back with a video today. So today I'm going to be doing a review of the Flop browser. So the Flop browser is a fork of Firefox. It basically means that it's based on Firefox, but they've edited it a bit and tweaked it a bit. So as you can see, I'm using the Flop browser right now. It's 11.17.8. And you can see here that it's an open source web browser based on Firefox and developed by a Japanese group called Ablaze. So this has been in development now for three years and uh, I'm using Flop right now as you can see. It's a great browser, it works pretty well for me. So let's get right into it. So this is what Flop looks like. Now if we go over to the settings here, go over to settings, we have all your usual settings here that you'll see in Firefox but you have also a ton of other things as well. Now a lot of these things I haven't really looked into. Uh, you're free to check these out. You can enable sleeping tabs, which can have, I think that's already enabled by default actually. What that basically means is that tabs will just go to sleep when they're not being used, which will save on memory. You can change the minimum width of tabs and the minimum height of tabs as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, but let's go right down to design. So this is what you'll see when you're installing uh, the browser. You'll be able to choose from a UI. So the Firefox Proton UI, which looks a lot like the normal Firefox that you'll get nowadays. The uh, Firefox Photon Lepton UI. If we go over to Lepton settings, we also have a couple in here. So we have Lepton design and we have tweaked Proton design as well, which is pretty cool. We can automatically hide tabs, which is pretty cool. I mean, there's tons of features in this browser. It's pretty crazy actually. Uh, but I like to use this Photon design. It looks quite old, but uh, it, it looks all right to me. And we also have Flo uh, Floral UI, which is a new UI, which is kind of like a I guess Chrome-ish, uh, kind of curved. But yeah, so that's the tabs. You have tons of features here to edit all that. You have browser manage sidebar, manager sidebar. Uh, I don't really know what all this does to be honest. Workspaces, keyboard shortcuts, browsing applications, web apps, uh, home, you can change stuff here. You can change the homepage to like Google or something. And search, you can change the search engine as well. I think the default that it comes with might be Bing. Uh, or it's Google, I'm not entirely sure, but it's one of them. And you have privacy and security. Uh, so all of this is pretty much what you get in normal Firefox. So you also have actually here, tell websites not to sell or share my data. Send websites a do not track request as well. Uh, so a lot of this stuff is from Firefox. You can enable HTTPS only, I'll enable that. So then it means if there's a website that has HTTPS, it will default to that. If it doesn't, it will just do HTTP. Uh, but that's pretty cool to have. Most websites nowadays are HTTPS anyway, so that's probably not really needed, but it's cool to have it on. And you also have DNS over HTTPS. So you can choose from here, default protection or increased protection. You'll be able to choose a provider such as Cloudflare, which will encrypt the DNS queries. And then we also have sync as well, which is pretty cool. So you can sync all your bookmarks, history, tabs, passwords, add-ons and settings all across devices. We have managed profiles. Uh, so that's there as well and also extensions and themes so you have these themes here all the themes from the Firefox store work as well and all the extensions from the Firefox store also work as well uh, but obviously Chrome extensions won't work it'll just be Firefox extensions plugins as well if you want to look at that and yeah that's basically all the settings um, so you can see I've got a couple extensions here and yeah it's just a browser that you use if you want to have this at the bottom but you can enable the status bar here. Um, I believe if you go into settings here. Okay, so if you right click up here, you can enable the status bar, which will just show when you click on something, it will show the URL at the bottom. And you also have a screenshot feature as well. You can take screenshots and just download it or copy it, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then we can exit out that. And you have this, which will display the window in full screen. So, don't really think that that was needed to be honest. <laughs> Let me see if I can disable that now. Exit full screen mode, there we go. And yeah, it's a very simple browser to use. The only issue I have is that when you open a video, so say if I open this, it starts playing before you've even clicked on it. So if you open up multiple videos here, on Tuesday, it will start playing them all, which is pretty annoying. So, uh, that's the only um, issue I have with it, is that when you open multiple videos, it will just play it rather than on other browsers. You have to click on the tab for it to play first. It won't just play automatically. That's the only issue I have with it. But as I said, it's a good browser. It works, it's pretty fast. Um, not as fast as Chrome or anything like that, but it is all right for what it is. 
and yeah i will leave the link for the float browser in the description if you want to check it out and yeah that was just this is just a quick review of the browser it's just a normal browser there's nothing fancy here you have a ton of features most people probably aren't going to use those features anyway but it's there if you want to use it so hope you guys have enjoyed like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys